always call it like the Swiss army knife of UTVs. Well, we've had the Kubota RTV X1140 for about a year and a half now, almost two years. And it's been a phenomenal machine. And I always call it like the Swiss Army knife of UTVs because this back seat will flip up and this bed will double in size and it becomes a two-seater big bed with a hydraulic dump that is operated at the driver's area. It also has the ability to be a four seat UTV, all wheel drive, 24.8 horsepower diesel. Uh, it is diesel powered. Uh, it is an all steel bed, which is nice, nice and durable. It does have a two inch receiver trailer hitch. It's a hydrostatic two-speed transmission, basically a high and a low range, four-wheel drive. You can engage four-wheel drive on its own. Has a four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive shifter there. There is the little pedal on the floor and that will make your rear differential a positive traction. So that'll, that'll lock your rear differential if you're under a load and need that locked. The driver's seat does slide forward and backward. We did put a top and a, and a front glass on it. I uh, feel that's kind of mandatory. It does have an area under the front where you can actually check your coolant, your radiator. It's got your air breather, um, your, your brake reservoir, cooler reservoir, and it does have uh, power steering. So that is really nice having power steering on this unit. It has kind of a built-in headache rack, uh, which moves forward with the seats when they go down. So the engine is actually underneath the uh, back of the vehicle. So right there is the Kubota engine. The transaxle is in the rear of the vehicle, which you can see from the back. It does have a spark arrestor that will periodically need to be cleaned. It does have sway bars. It does have coilover shocks has uh, tail lights with brake lights. It does have front headlights, uh, single beam, and it does have a horn. So it does not have turn signals, but it does have a tilt steering wheel. Um, few cup holders, which come in handy. It's really easy to wash out. Everything is, uh, you know, steel and rubber. So it's super easy to clean. Have about, Oh gosh, I think uh, 44 hours on it in two years. Probably I think it equated to a couple hundred miles. And, you know, it has been maintenance free. You know, the, the top speed on this thing is a little slower than I tend to like. Uh, it goes top speed of about 25 miles an hour, I think I've had it to. Going uphill, it does slow down a little bit. It becomes a little sluggish when you're loaded, but it does pull like crazy. I mean, it's a workhorse. It's not a speed demon. You know, I have decided that I need six seats and something a little more powerful because I have a really steep hill that I go up and down a lot, and I do shuttle people for uh, gatherings and parties. So I have upgraded to the Polaris XP1000, which has six seats in it. Uh, this one here, uh, as much as I love it, it's, uh, going to go to a new home today. Uh, and I knew the new owner is going to really enjoy it. It's still under factory warranty. The good news is these come with a two year factory warranty. Uh, I think a thousand hours when I got the new Polaris, which is considerably more expensive, only comes with a one year warranty. So you do get a nice warranty with the Kubotas. It's pretty miserly when it comes to fuel. It doesn't use a ton of fuel, uh, which is really nice. I think it holds about seven gallons or something like that. Very easy to fill the tank. 
has a nice brush bar built in that was standard. You can mount a winch on it if you like. It also does have a uh, two inch receiver on the front. So if you needed to move something around, the easy fuel fill, it's got seat belts for four. And uh, other than that, it's just been a really, really nice vehicle. So it does come factory with this mirror, uh, which you can see kind of what's going on in the bed and stuff. Unfortunately, you can't really see what's going on behind you. Probably should have put a rear view mirror or some side mirrors on it. I think that would be a, a must have accessory if I were to keep it. But other than that, really, really good vehicle. Again, the Swiss Army knife of vehicles because it's so transformable and flexible in uh, being a workhorse or a uh, four-person uh, shuttle vehicle. So thanks for being with us at the Full Octane Garage. If you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, if you have insurance needs, uh, we can also insure these if you're going to register them for the street or on your property. Uh, FullOctaneInsurance.com uh, and uh, also uh, check out our Facebook pages. Thanks a lot and talk to you soon. Thank you.